<laughs> Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to talk about all the games that I've been playing lately. I play a lot of games and you know that. I probably start a new game twice a week or more and often I rotate between several games at the same time and people I talk with they don't understand how I can do that. Most people on the other hand they are like one game at a time. I am several games at a time and everywhere and all around. Several different genres and types of games just for what kind of mood I'm in currently and stuff like that. Sometimes I'm in the mood for 3D platformers, you know. Sometimes I'm in the mood for super mindless games like hack and slash and Musou titles. And other times I'm really into grinding in Harvest Moon types of games, you know. So, what I have been playing lately. First of all, I'm gonna start off with Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I am near the end of the game. I am loving the game. This game is a 9 out of 10 game. 9 and a half. I can say so already before I've even written my review. Yeah, I haven't written my review. I started, but I was like, uh... I take my sweet time with my reviews because I, I'm in no rush. On this channel, I'm slow on everything, and I do things when it feels right and when I am when I'm ready. But I can say already that I am obsessed. It is so good. There are so many side quests, and that is what I love doing in that game. Grinding all the side quests. And this time around, it looks so much better, crisper, and all the animations are better and new. I can already tell everyone that is watching my channel that that is a game that I will be highly recommending in my official review when that comes around. Now another game that I have been playing a lot, <laughs> it is actually Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. I have gotten that review called way ahead of time and I love when companies give me a review code like a month before the embargo, the release date when I am allowed to publish my review. That happened also when I got uh, my time at Porsche for the Switch. I had like a month's time to create my review. I'm loving that. Thank you, Marvelous. What I can say about the game is really good. It's really, really, really good. <laughs> you are gonna love it. Slow start, slow progression. That is the entire point of a good Harvest Moon game. So many lists and so many things to keep track of and do and farm and, you know, grind. And I'm looking forward to reviewing that game. I'm gonna write my review really soon. I've already gotten to the second year in the calendar of the Harvest Moon. Mm -hmm. Now, another game that I have been uh, touching in on. I actually have this in my backlog and it is Elder Scrolls Online on PlayStation 4, you know that game. Now they have a new expansion, it is called Greymoor and it takes place in Western Skyrim, the area around Solitude to be specific here. I have not uh, played that too much yet, but I have been walking around and looking at all the nostalgic places that are now recreated in Elder Scrolls Online. And Solitude looks amazing, <laughs> fabulous, good. It's such a nostalgia trip, so that is um, something Skyrim fans are gonna get a kick out of. But it is on PC, it's not on Switch, you know, it is on PC, Xbox One, and I play on PlayStation 4. Now, a game that I found, actually I have had this game on my wish list and it was on sale and I was like I don't remember putting this on my wish list I don't remember ever seeing this game but then I saw it was on sale and I was like oh that looks cool it has a demo it is called sword art online fatal bullet it is just a cute colorful game that is a third person shooter set in the universe of an MMO that is the story the story is that a group of friends are playing an MMO and you are controlling your character within the MMO like World of Warcraft sort of game and they are like the dialogue is like all all over the place like let's go raiding have you checked your stats we should go and grind some loot such a nerdy dialogue I got experience from this and that and like all these MMO terms are in the dialogue and uh, so much fun it is repetitive and grindy but it is a mindless game and you just run around and shoot and loot and shoot and loot and then return back to your hub world. Anyways, I bought this game, but I also got a review code of this game. So I have bought it and gotten a review code. I am giving away this game, actually. So 
giveaway. I thought that would be cool. So check out the Gleam link in the description and top comment. I think I'm gonna do it that way, yeah. So good luck on that. Thanks to Bandai Namco, I'm having this contest. It's a cute game, but don't expect too much. And some other games that I have recently just bought, that is Ease 8, like Remosa of Dana. I have played that game on my PlayStation 4. And it is such a nice game such a nice unique game as it was on sale on the switch i felt like i want to go back to that world that music that gameplay the characters the island and the mystery the story the entire game east 8 lacrimosa of donna is definitely deserving of way more love from the mainstream and casual gamers and everyone than it is getting so east 8 it is a good game and i highly recommend it to everyone i can stand by that super fun gameplay another game that i got is a review code but i the guy told me that uh, i didn't have to review it i just got it Divinity Original Sin 2. I have a friend called uh, Raimo and he has put hundreds of hours into this game. It's highly complex, high fantasy, high RPG, if you know what I mean, strategy game. But it's so dialogue and story heavy. So it feels like a story game with a little sprinkle of the tactical combat things. <laughs> so it's more like a game that you can immerse yourself into. Um, the characters and the lore and the setting in the world. It is my first impression of the game. It is unlike anything I've ever played. It's very unique. It's highly complex and big. So yeah, those were the games that I have recently played. Now I think we are going to unbox some packages that I've gotten sent to my PO box. And that is including a really big package from 2K Games. The guys behind Bioshock, Borderlands and XCOM. Those are games that are recently dropped to the Switch. I am planning on picking up the Borderlands games, even though I have them already on PC and on PlayStation 4. So this will be my third time picking them up. But they are good, obviously. Neighbor Stefan, let's unbox stuff. Hello. I have two packages from subscribers of the channel. And I have one really big package from 2K Games. Oh, just. This is like when Tiny Hat says it's too big. But how are we gonna do It's too big. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I like how it is so big that I'm out of frame. Hope you are safe and well to celebrate the launch of some of the biggest 2K titles. We are sending you a package to enjoy. Let's see what it is. So the first item is a hat, some Switch decals. I like that actually. Yet another box within the box that was inside the box. Oh my god. Let's just speed this up, okay. Okay, oh my god, this is like Christmas. 2K Games is sending me a whole bunch of stuff. Wow, I mean, I have no idea why 2K Games is doing this. This is amazing. Okay, so we have a switch case. We have a cloth of some sort, socks, mm-hmm. Small thing is to have your cups on. Can we have a moment? A Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. What? I actually needed one because I have done a, <laughs> this is kind of funny too. I have done a little setup in the living room where I have a uh, secondary monitor so that I can have friends over when they are just bringing their Switch and we can have game sessions together. So, you know, my, my living room is now dedicated for LAN sessions gaming sessions and I only have one pro controller at this place anyway I have my second pro controller at my mom's place because I like to bring my switch over there too so <laughs> I'm shocked oh my and look at this rope can we have a moment on this robe as well? The material is actually really good. I know I will be using this. I love to just game around in like pajamas and robes. 
there is a um, scented candle as well and it smells really good really good and XCOM radiation bath salts and look at this thing this one is actually really heavy it's filled with sand it feels like so I think it is like a neck uh, pillow and a bag and we have this and the hat I don't think I have seen any other youtuber gotten this package from 2k games I mean if you have seen anyone else getting this let me know oh my god look at this it is 128 gigabyte SD card you know what in my camera right now I have 64 now this thing a headset they're sending me a big SD card a headset a Switch Pro Controller, a rope, <laughs> and all sorts of fun stuff. Such a fun package. Thank you so much to 2K Games. This was an excellent package. It was fun, it was well put together. Impressively high value for just a package to some random YouTuber. I'm impressed. Peter. <laughs> You did good. Now these two packages I got in my P.O. box. I even feel like I recognize the handwriting on one of them. <gasps> oh my god. I've always wanted to play this game. L.A. Noir. You play as a detective, I think, from what I've seen. I've seen some reviews of this game, but I've never, never gotten around to, to buy it or play it. Excellent. I heard it is really good and it is a Rockstars game. I'm really looking forward to this. Who was this from? But thank you either way very much. I'm always grateful. Always. And I think I'm gonna enjoy this title. Now the next package from Helsinki in Finland. Nice. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> this is what I always want guys. I need <laughs> chocolate from your country and that is what I need. Hello Asia Gaming, chocolate for the most dedicated gamer in the world. Thank you so much. So I think I'm just gonna wrap things up here and say thank you everyone for watching and for everything in life. For everything in life. Mm -hmm. I will see you later. Thank you very much. Yacht? Fare cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm.